Hey everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in to another Board of Trustees update. I want to give a brief summary of our June 27th, 2011 regular meeting of the Board of Trustees. Um, so we had a couple announcements uh, Monday night, and uh, the first one was uh, about the Downtown After Sundown concert series. Every Friday and Saturday night, if you haven't seen it already, uh, there's some great music downtown on Sloan Street in Spiota Park. Um, the music starts at 7.30, usually goes till around 9.30 or 10. Uh, if you're looking for anything to do Friday, Saturday night, definitely recommend uh, coming downtown. That is sponsored by uh, Investor Saving Bank and The Village um, and, uh, and put on by Main Street. Um, also, just a 4th of July activities in South Orange. Uh, there will be some 4th of July activities, um, and all residents are uh, encouraged and invited uh, to come down to the pool and uh, Meadowland Park. There's a bicycle rodeo parade, model boat exhibit at the Duck Pond, um, and, uh, and live entertainment and music um, for kids and, and for, uh, for adults as well. Um, and the pool is actually going to be open on July 4th, and it will be open from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, you can find out some more about July 4th activities on the website on the front page at southorange.org. The next was uh, the Farmer's Market. Every Wednesday, um, starting uh, today, June 29th, from 2 to 7 p.m., the Farmer's Market will be down in the uh, parking lot off of Sloan Street and 1st Street. Definitely encourage everyone to go down there and check that out. Um, on July 4th, also, uh, Village Hall office, offices will be closed uh, in observance of the holiday. Uh, we had a planning meeting for the Board of Trustees, uh, not the development kind of planning, but sort of strategic planning and vision planning um, and setting goals and objectives uh, for our board, for, for the entire governing body, and for the village. Um, we'll have the next one, July 14th at 7 p.m. in Jubilee Hall at Seton Hall. There will also be a budget workshop um, for the 2011 municipal budget, and that will be July 18th at 7.30 p.m. in Village Hall. We had a couple presentations Monday night. Um, the first was uh, Villager of the Month. We had two students, um, Elise Royale and David Hoffman, who were both uh, graduating Columbia High School. So congratulations to, uh, to both of you. As a, uh, you know, as a recent Columbia High School graduate myself, um, you know, I really uh, appreciate all the uh, community service that you guys do, and, uh, and good luck in your endeavors after Columbia. The Charter Review Committee also presented their recommendations to the Board of Trustees, and, uh, and you can see the entire report, which is incredibly thorough uh, and detailed. You can see that entire report at southorange.org slash charter review. Then Main Street did their quarterly report, uh, talking a lot about uh, events like Celebrate South Orange and Downtown After Sundown uh, concert series. Um, and also, um, you know, a financial statement uh, as well. Um, that's a quarterly report that is required of all um, groups that receive uh, funding from the village. Uh, we approved our minutes um, for the uh, June 13th special and conference uh, meetings. We had an ordinance that was on second reading, and I'll read that. That is 2011-09, an ordinance to amend Chapter 152 of the Code of the Township of South Orange Village, to prohibit the parking, stopping, or standing of buses on residential streets, subject to certain exceptions. Uh, we had a couple ordinances on first reading. Um, 2011-10, an ordinance establishing crosswalks and bicycle lanes on both sides of Mead Street between Meadowbrook Lane and Vose Ave. Uh, and an ordinance amending the Code of Township of South Orange Village, Section 92-163B, Subsection 1A, and to repeal Section 92 162B, subsection 9C4. Um, that last one sounded a little technical. That is the political lawn sign ordinance um, that was discussed in two previous meetings that, um, that required a $25 fee in application for, uh, to allow a candidate to put up a lawn sign. Um, of course, um, actually during the campaign, um, during this last campaign, I brought this issue up with uh, the village administrator and council and clerk. Um, basically, that this was not constitutional. We need to protect... Make sure that our ordinances are protecting free speech. Um, so that uh, will be changed going forward um, to reflect those, uh, to reflect the appropriateness of uh, of allowing free speech and free political speech on lawn signs. Um, we had a public comment period, and in that public comment period, several residents brought up um, some dissatisfaction with the uh, Special Improvement District Advisory Committee. Um, they were uh, suggested to bring some of those issues up at the uh, public forum and some of the SID meetings. Um, you can find the entire uh, meeting schedule for that committee and their public hearings uh, at the calendar at southorange.org. Uh, we had some resolutions by consent agenda, um, all of one which were passed. Um, 
You should see them scrolling over the screen right now. If you want to take a look at any of them, you can just kind of pause the video and take a look. But I'm not going to read each of them out loud. We approved our bills, and then we had a very brief discussion on charter schools. And uh, one of the resolutions that was on the consent agenda allows us to move into executive session. So after we adjourned from our regular meeting, we moved into executive session. Um, and I'll just let you know those agenda items that we discussed, which was the South Orange Performing Arts Center, uh, performance evaluations, the manners at South Mountain Homeowners Association, East Orange Water Commission, firehouse renovation, an offer of property donation, and volunteer applications. Uh, you can find out more about our, our regular meeting by watching the video on SouthOrange.org or checking out the minutes uh, posted on the website. Hopefully this summary has provided at least um, a basic understanding of what we went through in the meeting. I want to make sure that people do know what we're discussing. Um, and again, if you want more detail about that, please feel free to email me, um, any board member, or uh, check out the minutes or the video on the website. And please let me know, give me some feedback you know, on the videos. If, if you guys want a more detailed, less detailed, you know, I really want to make sure that I'm providing uh, the right amount of information for people so that they know what's going on uh, with the board. Thanks again for watching and uh, have a great rest of the week. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.